Hey guys, I'm Ashley Creed here with Khadija Sessions. Hey guys, can't you see the glow on the window pane? I can see the sun whenever you're here. Khadija, Khadija, Khadija. We on camera, girl. Oh snap! I'm sorry, Seahawks. I'm Khadija Sessions. Now let's take this thing to Spencer Green and Makali Edie with Hawk Sports. Hey Seahawks fans, I'm Spencer Gray and I'm Makala Edie and, and this, this is Hawk Sports. This week we had an eventful week starting with the Super Bowl to a great way to end the basketball season. Congrats to our girls and boys JV team on ending a great season. Way to go boys with your undefeated season. Girls went 10 and 5. Yes! Sunday night. Once again, Eli Manning took the Giants down the field scoring a winning touchdown and foiled Tom Brady's opportunity for four championship rings. New York Giants stole the victory of the New England Patriots 21-17. Congrats Giants! Eli Manning was awarded MVP player of the game with two touchdown passes and a touchdown run with 296 yards rushed. <laughs> Sports. I'm really excited about their season cup coming up and can't wait to cover it. And that's all we have for today. I'm Spencer Gray. And I'm Mikhaila Edie. And this is Hawk Sports. Sports. Catch, Catch you later, Seahawks fan. part of the movie was Dana Ratcliffe's acting. Some say it was just as magical as Harry Potter. There are those who believe the whole town is cursed, but the house in the marsh is by far the worst. What she wants is unknown, but she always comes back. The spectre of darkness. The woman in black. If you're a real Harry Potter fan like me, 
I'd stick to the Deathly Hallows and not the woman in black. Why do you live? Because I have something worth living for. For all you mud bogging, duck hunting country folk out there. <laughs> Brantley Gilbert is performing at the House of Blues tonight and tomorrow night. Starts at 7 30, y'all. Better see you there. The Stop Online Piracy Act, or better known as SIPA, is a proposed bill by U.S. Representative Lamar Smith. If SIPA is passed, it will give the U.S. law enforcement agencies the ability to fight online trafficking and copyrighted intellectual property and counterfeit goods. This means that many sites like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Wikipages, Tumblr, and so on could be blocked because of copyrighted content. You can get involved by searching out the facts on multiple news channels and websites. If you are opposed to censorship in general, please visit AmericanCensorship.org. Don't be a bystander. What's up, man? Hey, dude, how you doing? Well, good, man. Check out this new video that I found on YouTube. Is it YouTube blog? I got around it, dude. I can get around it. It's so sick. Check this really? out. Really? All I can do is this, this, and... If you violate SOPA's proposed laws, this could be you. And here we go to the Teacher of the Year, Ms. Franklin, in her outgoing art class. Today, Ms. Franklin is explaining to us the different levels of art and displaying student artwork. When you enter Ms. Franklin's room, you automatically realize it's not just an ordinary class. levels of art, <clears throat> uh, basically in art one, students are learning principles and elements. The foundations for our art. In art two, three, and four, it is more creative, more thinking outside the box assignments. Students are elaborating and building upon their strengths and creating wonderful pieces of art. gives me room to be creative and just come in in the morning and um, be yourself. I like art because it's the way to express my feelings without having to use words. Monday morning, and it's raining. A gray, melancholy day. On a day like this, maybe we can be excused for feeling gray and melancholy ourselves. We get into a mood, and the whole day seems to go badly. Don't you feel better when the weather outside is great? But what if you could carry your own weather within you? 
What about the social world we live in? Don't you feel better when you're treated better? That's being reactive to what we could call the social weather, the social culture. When you carry your weather with you, you can choose to be consistent regardless of how people treat you. That's what it means to be proactive. Being reactive is the opposite of being proactive, not taking responsibility for our own life. You always see yourself as a victim of the weather, of your moods, of someone who has it in for you. Habit one is based on the principle that your life is the result of your own decisions, not your conditions, not what's happening around you. That's why habit one is so foundational, so basic. Unless you practice habit one, you can never practice the other habits of highly effective people. Years ago, I was doing research in a library in Hawaii. While thumbing through a book, I came across an idea that changed my whole outlook. The author said something like this. Between what happens to us, that is the stimulus, and our response is a space. In that space lies our power and our freedom to choose our response. And in those choices lie our growth and our happiness. This insight sunk deep into my heart. Even in the midst of challenging circumstances, we have this exhilarating power to choose how we will respond. For instance, the great Viktor Frankl, the Jewish Austrian psychiatrist imprisoned in the death camps of Nazi Germany during World War II, experienced unbelievable indignities and tortures. He was raised to believe that you are basically a product of your childhood. But while he was in the death camp, he began to observe some very interesting things. Different people reacted differently to the same circumstances. He himself experienced terrible things. Some of his own loved ones were killed. One day they stripped him, put him under lights, and performed experiments upon his body. At that lowest possible point, he discovered what he called the last human freedom, the power to choose your own response to any condition, to anything that happens to you. During his darkest moments, Frankel would visualize himself lecturing to his students in Austria following his release. He pictured himself teaching them about the very experiences he was having then. He came to believe that the most basic human capability of all is that between stimulus and response, man has the freedom to choose. Frankel later determined the thing that enabled survival in the death camps was not necessarily intelligence or survival skills, but a sense of purpose, a contribution yet to be made. This became the basis for his brilliant autobiography, Man's Search for Meaning. It's not what people do to us that hurts us. It's our chosen response to what they do that hurts us. As Gandhi put it, they cannot take away our self-respect if we do not give it to them. We must simply never build our emotional life around the weaknesses of other people. Otherwise, we give them permission to continue to mess up our lives. We give our future away. Mm -hmm.